Yo, so last time we figured out dinosaurs I could defeat in combat in Jurassic Park. Obviously, most of the dinosaurs have an overwhelming amount of, like, power and strength, and I couldn't do anything. But what we covered is due to, like, my lifetime of getting the crap kicked out of me growing up in Los Angeles till eventually being a 6'2 person with 180 pounds of muscle who's been boxing for, like, four years, I stand a legitimate chance against a few of them. But today's environment's gonna be much more harsh. Today we're getting placed on Skull Island, and today we're gonna find out what I could defeat, which, like, Skull Island creatures I could beat in a fight if I were to come across them, basically. I'm pretty excited for this. I feel like there's a good amount I could kill. There's a good amount of things I could survive on that island, but obviously, for the most part, most of it's gonna rip me to shreds. Leave a like and subscribe for more random awesome dinosaur monster nonsense, and let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, for this video, the only weapon I'll be allowed to have in any of these situations is this exact switchblade right here, because it's the one that I keep in my jeans 24-7. If I was ever magically placed onto Skull Island, this would be the only weapon I would necessarily have. Its advantages is basically that of a freaking Utah Raptor claw. It's giving me one specific claw, one thing to fight back with. It may be enough. We'll find out. Okay, this Goji Center size comparison video of Skull Island creatures shall be a perfect way for us to decipher which of these I could beat in combat. This is exciting. Exciting, dude. All right, and, and obviously like malaria and stuff isn't <laughs> is prevalent in this example. All right, so there's me. Okay, but see, this human is 5'7". It appears to have more of a relaxed average build. I'm 6'2", and again, have been boxing and weightlifting almost every day for years, so there will be a slight difference. I feel like I'm probably about to like the top where the words are, Skull Island creatures. That'd be where my dude stretches up to. Okay, first thing on the list. Ooh, that's a big stinger, the giant wasp. Oh, that stinger. That stinger is so risky, and obviously it has heightened freaking reflexes. I won't be able to stab at it because it's going to be a bug with extremely heightened reflexes. My only way to defeat this creature would necessarily be to escape. The only issue is when you run from stuff like this, your body produces more heat, making it easier for stuff to track you through, like, as you try to escape through the foliage and jungle. That stinger gets you, that's your right there. Would I be able to? I don't know. Honestly, this thing is so small, sneaky, and venomous, it might have a hell of an upper hand on me. And in this situation, it's just one of them, not like a whole hornet, like wasp full. I mean like a nest full, where there'd be like hundreds of them. In this situation, it's just one. Honestly, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna be realistic in this video, I can't kill it, because if you grab it, you stab it, you stomp it, you punch it, anything, that stinger is gonna come into contact with you. And if that stinger comes in contact, you're dead, dude, you're dead. It's just too venomous. I lose this one. This is a realistic video. I'm not gonna be like, yeah, I can beat up everything. It's realism, bro. If I was placed in this environment, that sucker would be an issue. Plus, it's little mandibles that'll grab onto me and sting like... All right. Now, again, in this situation, it's only one of them, not a whole pack of them. I almost just slipped my throat. Okay, it notes these creatures are capable of picking stuff up that exceeds their own weight greatly, so there's a chance they'd be able to pick me up a bit. And, of course, their mouth is freaking serrated edges of teeth. We saw in Skull Island how instantly easily one of these things was able to cut off the dude's arm while the other two picked him up with leisure, even given that they're pretty freaking small. Here's what's gonna happen. This sucker's gonna try to pick me up. It's not gonna attack me with its mouth just yet. They gotta damage you first before they put their head at risk. While it's picking me up, I'm gonna freaking gut the bastard, tear down his guts. His warm liquid magma is gonna spill all over my body like a warm shower in a cold environment. He will die. This bastard, upon picking me up, shall die very easily and surely. It's it's the rest of the pack you gotta watch out for. The scientist they killed was an unarmed Nancy boy. They did pick him up very freaking easily though, but you gotta be quick. You gotta be freaking quick with it. He just screamed and flailed and died. What's next on the list? I got your guts all over my face, you little bastard. Sorry, I'm getting in the zone in today's video, all right? We're in survival mode. All right, this Ray's psycho vulture, dude's go, okay, all right. Yeah, these things are blind, but equipped with thermal vision enable them to, do, to track warm-blooded prey. Once again, if you run, you're freaking gonna give off more warmth, making it easier for you to track. Dude, these things drug themselves with puffer fish, then go on murderous killing sprees? Are you serious? <laughs> okay, I may have an advantage here. I'm from Los Angeles, where about 50% of the population gets high on drugs and goes on killing sprees. I have a natural accustomed to this. It would appear they just kill their, their prey by ripping them apart, and like, th there's no like venom stuff here, although if they bite you, you're probably gonna get some crazy mega rabies, but that'll kill me later. It's not an issue right now. I'm a little bigger than this guy, and he doesn't have arms. It's mostly gonna rely on its teeth and fang or feet to scratch at me and kill me. This will be my advantage. Once it tackles me down and tries to kill me once again, gut it, dude. Just from the top of the abdomen right down to the bottom. It will be a bloody fight. I will have scars. I will possibly be mangled. May have expo exposed guts. I don't know. Just from its like feet kicking at my stomach, I may have 
the lower intestines coming out, but I've taken medical training and you can survive with your intestines out. This dude can't survive my, my freaking just being gutted down the center. I'd win this one. I would win, but I would not live for long. <laughs> I would probably die a couple hours later due to like horrible. All right, now this is a tricky one. A giant ant. What advantages does it have? Remember in Skull Island, all we know about these things is he's like, you hear that? It sounds like a bird, but it's a ant. Like, that's a good quote. I didn't mean to swear. It's got some big pinchers, but I'm a freaking human, dude. I'm an evolved ape. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump onto the back of that thing and stab and stab and pull and stab and rip and stab and everything. I'm gonna come out on top of this. These are like zombies. One at a time, you can kill them. What gets you is volume. A bunch of them at once, it's an ant. There's probably billions of them. But in this situation, it's just one of them. I'll wear ant armor home after defeating this creature. A helmet composed of ant bones. Ant head. I'd wear his ass as a hat. Yes. Okay, things are gonna start getting a little more tricky. I gotta be realistic about this. Can't be full of myself. The vine strangler. Gah. <laughs> yeah, okay, these things hang above and have tentacles that hang down below and grab you. Realistically, there's no winning this one for me. I would die. I think the best way to avoid this is just avoid any low-hanging veins. You know what I'm saying? You get pulled up into that gut, that teeth gut, you're gonna die a horrible death. I'm making a teeth gesture with my hands right now. I, I assume once you're in that thing's grasp, it's over. And there's no way to get on top of it since I myself can't cr climb trees like a creature in Skull Island. This, it gets me. I die, dude. I die a horrible death. Yeah, absolutely horrible death. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let my phobia of snakes scare you. This one kills me. I have a, a huge phobia of snakes, dude. I'm not gonna think rationally. I'm gonna freaking die a horrible death. It's a serpent. You know how muscular those things are? Look how long it is. I'm only human. It kills me. Okay. <laughs> All right, the death jackal. I don't even need to pause this one. This dude's gonna rip me in half, dude. Look at the size of that mouth and those fangs. It's like an enhanced Utah Raptor. It literally is an evil die. Die a horrible quick death. It's not even gonna barely, even if I stab it. Okay, yeah, no need to pause this one either. I'm, I'm, I'm not full of hubris. It's pretty freaking obvious. This thing's gonna, it's so big it might not even need to chew me. It's gonna crap out a perfectly mummified Johnny. I, you couldn't even beat a normal sized tiger with a switchblade. All right, <laughs> okay, okay. I'm trying to think of ways to kill it. They killed it with weapons, with guns. In this situation, I don't have guns. I just have my switchblade. I'm not a Vietnam veteran. You're not killing that thing with the switchblade. Absolutely not. I don't care who you are, dude. I don't care if you could throw this thing like freaking daredevil. Yeah, once again, there's no chance. And they use just tremendously huge. That swamp locust. These things, once again, they stay underneath the swamp. That's where they hide waiting for prey. You have to swim in the swamp with a knife in your teeth, hunting it to kill it. it th you will die before that happens. Yeah, this thing can kill you if you're just like within 20 feet of it. <laughs> so there's, there's no chance whatsoever. I'm not even sure I could kill a Galapagos turtle. Those things are ginormous. No, I could, but it'd be wrong. But this, you'll get vaporized before you even get close. Ah. Okay, the Skier Buffalo is Jai freaking Mungus. Is there a way? No, it's gotta have like five or six like th feet thick hide. Like you wanna try and go for it realistically, climb the tail up its back and then stab, 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 stab. You're gonna get freaking head, but you're gonna get like shaken off and then stomped. The amount of thick hide that thing would have to prevent predators from killing it. Predators like the giant tiger, there's no chance. Baby Kong. No, he's gonna have like, he's gonna, it's gonna be like Attack on Titan. He's gonna walk up and chew me thinking I'm like a little bug on the floor. He doesn't even have intelligence developed yet. He's basically just an Attack on Titan monster. Not even a, not even a Beast Titan with intelligence. Just a monster who will eat me. Is that Kamazots? No, that's one of the, uh, the, the minions? It is, it's a, it's a Kamazots minion. No chance! <laughs> Look at that thing. It's a freaking dragon, dude. That is a, that is a hell beast. Well, I think we all know the answer to this one. To, to no, it's a big fat no. You get digested within like an hour in that thing and then spat back out. There's no chance. Honestly, this guy almost would have said I can. 
I don't know. He, he didn't show any signs of heightened aggression. It was more just like defending itself. Yeah, it's a giant slug-like creature inside a giant stick. If it, if it bites you, you're gonna die. You're gonna get digested horribly, but it's a slug. You know what I'm saying? How thick is that wood? Could I like chop around the wood, perhaps? Well, there's no chance here, man. What is the freaking skull triceratops? Couldn't even kill a regular triceratops. Skull Island triceratops are way bigger. They're gonna survive giant tigers and crap. Well, there's just no way. How am I gonna kill that thing? Look at this, this is a sea monster. The siren jaw, massive crocodilian mosasaur. Plus, once again, it's an ambush predator. The ambush predators are gonna be so hard to kill because you have to find them first. You have to sneak up on them. How do you sneak up on something that's waiting to ambush you? Okay, Kong, no. <laughs> just, just no. Unless perhaps like, no, there's just no way. I was like, maybe if I dip the knife in some poop and then stab him so he gets like some sort of septus disease. But a giant monkey who lives in the wilderness probably has a crazy immune system. The dude eats like freaking boar bad head. He's fine. Okay, the Meyer squid, no. <laughs> I don't even need to explain why I won't. It's a freaking kraken. Most of these creatures can be avoided though. It's stuff like the siren jaw or the giant tiger. That'll be your main issue because those will stalk you. Skull crawler are main issue also because those eat everything in their vision. This actually seems scarier than Kong. Hell hath no fear like a mother's wrath, dude. But like a female Kong, I feel like she'd be infinitely more aggressive. Because they, they're like... You know, they instinctually defend the young in their, their nests and stuff like that. She'd be bananas. Dude. Plus, she looks horrifying. Yeah, there's... No. Let's... <laughs> no. But if I'm killing a Kong with a switchblade. Commissots? Yeah, these things could actually shatter people into little explosions of blood goo with their tremendous roar. No. Not killing it. No. <laughs> no. And finally, adult Kong. Yeah, I just, I just don't see it happening. I'm, I'm a pretty fantastic individual, but realistically, it's just not gonna, nah, nah, this, this one's stupid. Well, there you have it, everybody. Every kaiju, every creature in Skull Island that I'd be able to take down with just my wits, my human-like wits survival. Ah, I hit my headphones. All in all, I think I do pretty good. For the most part, the smaller stuff could be taken out with vicious tenacity. The bigger stuff that hunts you, like Siren Jaws and the Tiger and other things like that, will be the main issue. Either way, I'd survive at least 15 minutes, and that's manly as hell right there. <laughs> well, this was awesome and informational. If you guys want to see other epic stuff like this, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.